And we are back. And we're doing Devolverland Expo. And I looked at the options, and I, have, I put it on medium for now. I'm doing it for medium. The future's future has been canceled. I believe you can also do this in VR. All right, we'll look okay for medium. Get into the building. Got it. Door locked. Okay, we got some jumping. Oh, hold on. Enter South Hall. Hello? You know what's great? This came out. Devolver as in Devolver Digital? Yeah, guessed it. That's great. Uh, this game came out way the before. The convention center is now closed. Please leave via the nearest exit. Way before the newest Freddy, so it's kind of like. Hmm. Are you friend or foe? Friend or foe? I don't know, but look at the fall, guys. He's a little sheep. Yo. In a little sheep. I don't know if that robot's a friend or a foe. Yeah. Look at all these wonderful games. Just gonna avoid you, just in case. Do you wanna look at the stuff? Chill zone? It's pretty chill. All right, let's get to the South Hall. Oh! Oh, everybody's waking up. This is so pretty. I just want to explore. Yeah, let's let's not. Let's visit us. The future is now. Door lock. Equipped yourself. Equipped myself with what? Oh, there's one over there. Hey now. What am I what am I equipping myself with here? Hello. Uh oh. That big one doesn't look nice. It's blinking red. What do you mean equip myself? I don't understand. Okay, well, I guess that counts as a death. <laughs> Oops. All right, equipped myself. With what? Whoa! Jesus! Hi, Adobo. You didn't scare me at all? Staying here for punishment. <laughs> Equipped myself. I don't. No? Okay, hold on. You know, is there like a button that I'm not understanding that I need to click to check inventory? Pause, move, move, use, move, move, jump, run, crouch, slide. No, shoot. Apparently I can shoot at some point. Okay. So I gotta find a gun, I'm guessing. Let's go over there. Attendees are reminded that exhibitor merchandise 
paradise is off limits. Find security room. Grab your t-shirt right around the corner. How does my... Boom. Roasted. Door locked. Damn it. Okay, how do I get... Don't mind me! Oh, come on. How do I get up there? Damage to convention center property will not be tolerated. <laughs> eh. There's a thingy here. I can lower it? Okay. Door locked. Maybe now that I have a gun, I go through the expo hall? Rats and bunnies and slime rancher, too? Oh, that's nice. I don't know how to get to security. Cause I know there's this ramp thing, but I can't jump on it. Right, and then there's this area. Maybe I can squeeze through? No. I don't have a very fast run. Like, it does not last long. Damage to convention center property will not be tolerated. That's fine. God, I feel so dumb. I need, I need a hint. Cause here's an upstairs. That's a slant of the roof. That's locked. And then it just loops us around. I mean, I'll try that hallway again. Like, I'm pretty sure that this hallway is connected. I feel like it has to do something with this. to that which connects to that so I'm looking it up <laughs> I'm I'm looking it up I just What am I not understanding here? Secret item locations? Don't, don't even worry about that. Just tell me how to do it. Just killer clowns. 
I don't want the 100% guide, but if you'll just tell me how to get there. Check out all the developer game booths, pick up the essential t-shirt launcher, defeat the button. No. I don't want the achievements, I just want to know how to get there! From outer space, the game. Oh, nice! That's pretty cool. Super bad frame rates. No. There's no saves. Achievements. No keybind options. Streaming the new way to showcase upcoming games. I highly doubt it was cost effective, but it seriously got a 10 out of 10 in creativity for me. Don't. It doesn't. I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna look it up real quick. Unless someone else knows what to do, because I'm apparently just blanking. I can't smash my way through it. I'm just. My brain is. Mm. It's probably something super simple. Devolver Link. Expo. Please. Give me a guide. Someone beat this whole thing. All collectibles and achievements. In an hour and a half. And I'm stuck on the first part. <laughs> How to get to the security office. Oh, thank God. Someone made an article about it. I'm not the only one. I also need to figure out how to sneak past security unlock doors. One of the first puzzles that may stump you is how to get to the security office. Having a hard time? Here's how you can get into it. First, which is locked, to enter, you need to locate the security office pickle pass. Think of it as being an E3 and you need to pick up your badge first before you can enter the south hall. You'll want to head straight from the front door. Make a left, keep an eye out for security droids. Options. I found that increasing the gamma helped tenfold. Once you make a left at the south hall, you'll see a lift going up to the second floor. Don't bother trying to jump up this, you won't be able to. Instead, you need to go through the locked door near security desk. To do this, turn around and locate the booth. Find a t shirt gun, which you can use to shoot security droids temporarily disorient them. Unlock doors by hitting special switches. I'm gonna stop right there. What? 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 Take away my puzzle solving card. I don't deserve it. Not one bit. Where did he go? Oh, there he goes. Security areas are off limits to attendees. Oh. booth explore weird west booth um okay your presence has been noted please prepare for processing I'm, I'm, I'm scared oh this is their actual video for it oh that's cool nina's unworthy <laughs> i am hi No, 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 no.
Honestly, it's really cool, but uh. <laughs> Watch carrying trailer. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay. I like this. I like this. Honestly, marketing wise, brilliant. I was mentioning someone's story. Let me summon y'all to stream haters. Damn, this is cool. And it's free. You know what? I probably should make one of my factor meals. I'm getting hungry. Tony, look at you with your money. Look at you with your money. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a factor mukbang. I mean, they only take two minutes to make, and then you just have to wait like two minutes, which I'm like, honestly, that's perfect. All right, I can either do that now or during the next stream raiders. I can quickly run and pop it in. <gasps> Flying rogue. I think I have, yeah, the new, the next shipment thing already came early again, so I was like, oh, bye. All right. Wild West Booth. Miss, Nina. I imagine there's like so many secrets hidden. Whoa. Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in fantasy reimagined. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of Wolfi Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development. Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. While we described Weird West as an action RPG, 
Some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our DNA to let the players play their own way. Weird West is designed in a way that accommodates many playstyles and many playthroughs. Whether you like combat or trickery or stealth or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system-rich and physically simulated world. Hmm. Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is Weird West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palettes that we think bring a unique style to the game. We want our world to be instantly recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. Now, let's talk about how scripted versus how dynamic is the experience. While the game has a main quest, the events and the quests outside of the main path make use of what we call the conductor, which creates events and crafts a narrative that is specific to each playthrough. For example, let's say you kill one of these merchants while the other one escapes. The survivor will throw a vendetta at you and chances are they'll ambush you later when you expect it the least. This participates to the feeling of a very tailored experience per player. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention is that your actions are permanent in Weird West. While you may resurrect when killed, your companion won't resurrect if you did not have a chance to revive them on time. And whatever choices you've made will stay in the game. So, stealing shops and killing people have consequences you cannot discard by coming back in time with a simple game reload. We think it is a powerful way to give meaning to your actions and keep the tension high. All right. That's about it for today. We have a few more surprises that I can't wait to talk about, but we're keeping some of these for later. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and please stay tuned for future news about the quest. What's this? I just really think it's cool. Two forums collected for unannounced game. Oh, that's cool. Well, this has been out for a while, so. Food gun? No, no, no. I have a t shirt gun. I thought I could like crouch slide under it. say that's actually Adobo's favorite game.
Wait, can I disarm this? Oh, thank God. Guys, fuck yeah. Double loves that game. It loves it so much. You shall not pass. Damn it. Unannounced game two. I'm only a little scared. Oh, is that daylight? Nope, that's moonlight. Twenty twenty. Okay. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Oh boy. Something's gonna get me. <laughs> Inspect the developer devolver glove of power MK. Oh, but look at all the games around me. Just one little peek. Each player will choose a hero from one of three classes. Warrior. Forge. I'm gonna go heat up some food. Behold, Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the Blight, a mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose a hero from one of three classes. Warrior. Forge Titan's might! Assassin. Let me at him. Or mage. My greatest power awaits. Battle a terrifying horde of monstrous enemies and colossal bosses. Each class of hero fulfills a specific role on the team to overcome mounting odds. Solve clever puzzles and synchronize their ultimate abilities to unleash massive damage. Battle through three distinct lands, each with several dungeons to conquer, including the eerie Gravemark, the oppressive Underhold, and the precarious Blood Ridge. Steal your nerves and prepare once again to enter the Blight Warrior. We are Lightbound. Oh, would you look at that? I totally was here the whole time. <laughs> Behold, Lightbound, a cooperative dungeon. Totally was here the whole time. I'm fuck around. <gasps> Lola! Again! How are you doing? Totally not using these ads as a way to, like, get my food. No. But these games do look amazing. I feel bad that I haven't heard about them. Tell me more. We are Skeleton <gasps> 3 Studio from Kyoto, Japan. And we invite you to take a Hello. sneak peek at Go the story, mechanics, and the challenges in our all new game, Oria. Olia is an action-adventure game that takes place in the land of Terraphage, a lost world home to forgotten creatures, vast ruins, deep caverns, and rainforest-topped islands. You are Faraday, a shipwreck captain. You follow his adventure to rescue his lost crewmen, leading them to a safe return to their homeland. Now, on his pursuit of salvation, Faraday is guided to an ancient harpoon of great power. It awakens ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terraphage. Are 
I'd like to introduce the world of Oriel. Wild, dark, unpredictable as an ambiguous dream. You will venture through many different islands on your search for a way out. You will travel through jungles and caverns, visit sites of old relic and ruins. Each land presents new challenges and new opportunities for you on your quest to escape this shadowy land. Next, combat. Combat is at the forefront of Olea, with visceral systems that challenge the way you think about space. You can dash and teleport using the Haboon, and then immediately face hand-to-hand -hand combat with minions spawned from the darkness. Crafting and downing magic hats give you additional power, including dashing and wall jumping, spitting acid, and controlling and generating electricity. Puzzles complement battle sequence by rethinking movement through a maze-like world. There are five major boss battles in Olea. Each one introduces a new character's story, as well as new combat mechanics. By mastering each attack system, you will take down these bosses and be handsomely rewarded with new areas to explore and new mechanics to unlock. Olya is an experience we throw ourselves into. I'm coming. Will you lead Faraday, master the harpoon, eh. save the castaway, and solve the mystery that surrounds Olya? Well, good morning, Lala. I gotta let that sit for two minutes, so, you know, it's not absolutely hot. But it's honey butter diced chicken. We are Skeleton Crew Studio from Kyoto, Japan. And we Honestly, it looks pretty bomb. Minus the butter, because I forgot to take it out in my haste. But... I know last time I had this was delicious. Mm. I got some chicken sauce on my hand, so <laughs> let me grab a napkin real quick. Thank you. Yeah, so let that cool down. What's in here? I didn't grab this thing. I guess I can't get the glove. With visceral systems that challenge the Not wait. Oh. Crazy Lala. I'm away. Hot food? I'd be like, ho 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 ho. I'd be, ooh, I'd be making the funny faces.
Oh, chicken's actually really good. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I can't get out of here. Fall Guys booth and Shadow Warriors booth. Game for other games? I don't know who's yelling at me. I don't like it. Oh, look at him! Oh my god, I love it here! Oh, that honey butter though? tiny jar that I may or may not have forgotten. So bright and colorful here, and it's just like, uh, darkness. Honey butter chips? No, it's the honey butter chicken. It's like it's a honey butter sauce that you put on top of your chicken, your carrots, and your potatoes, and then, you know, your green beans if you want. All right, Shadow Warriors 3. All right, it's right in front of us. Disc room. Oh, I missed. You're just mad because I'm pretty. Oh, we like the bamboo. Ooh. Honestly, if I went to a video game convention and they had stuff like this, I'd be like, I'm buying this game. But I'm buying it. Cause you look at this and you're like, how did you fit this into a convention? I don't understand. Doesn't matter. Buying the game. I'll track you down. Gimme. Gimme. Mm -hmm. Well, howdy, stranger. Wang, where are you? Can you hear me? Demons, they're trying to break through the gates. I'll track you down. Circus. 
bet that had to hurt. Stay frost. That was good. Man, I honestly can't remember the last time I like actually watched like a game trailer. Cause you know, usually they're just like super cinematic and you're like, this isn't what the game's gonna be like, but that looked amazing. Maybe it's cause we just came from Devil's Hunt and we were just murdering everything, but I'm like, man, I just wanna go in there and just commit murder too. Or is it justice? Are we calling it justice? How do I get out of here? <gasps> A zip line! Wee! These hero ruins are pity. You will never leave the divine path. You believe that Kulon will save you. Oh, it's left click, not E. Wee! Oh. Wee! Something tells me this is not gonna be what I'm expecting it to be. So give me like two seconds. I wanna eat some of this deliciousness that only took two minutes to make. And it's dietitian approved, so it's super healthy. I got carrots. I got potato. I got chicken. I got green beans. Oh. And it's all slathered up in honey butter. Like, mm. Delicious. Okay. Usually it took like, what, two minutes? Two minutes in the microwave, take it out here, pull off the thing, let it cool down, you know, add runs or something. Perfect. Fight the boss! Who's, who's the, who's the boss?
Oh my god, get out of here! Bye! I don't have a mousey mouse. Ah. And there you go. It's a short, very short, super cute little like, oh my god, kind of thing. What'd y'all think? I thought it was great. Honestly, if you imagine a game company making a game about upcoming games, showing you trailer and sneak peeks and stuff, I don't for good. I'm not even gonna lie. It's good. And it's healthy and portion controlled. It's good. I like this one. Alright. Let's see, it's three. We got time for one more. Show us the food. I'll show you the food in a second. One second. Let me just exit out of this real quick. One second, one second. Where is my, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Ta-da! Ah! Well, there goes my fork, but yeah. Got to check on. Mmm. The one shows delicious with the butter. My fork flew. Come back, fork. Oh, I'm an now I'm gonna need a new one. I have to get a new fork. <laughs> I wanna see how did you miss it, Tony? I just showed you. I just showed you the food. <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. <coughs> Alright. Ugh. Oh, look at that stream mirrors. Well, let me get y'all set up for the next game. I think the, the next one... Oh, it's a super long one. Cool, 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 cool. You're not going to see the stream mirrors fight, but I will be right back. <laughs>